Poor Roses is so creamy. Hello, Patreon. Oh, cream. I'm never going to get over Dom, Tater Dom on my live stream just going, hey, can you do Herbert the still, Pervert right now? I don't know if I was speaking. I know we're going to talk about the live show and stuff more, but I, I can't get over doing a cream pie joke with my mom in the room with your mom in the room with Kenny Coleman. <laughs> And he enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> it was... A little too much, I think. <laughs> he leaned into it. Yeah, he went right <laughs> for it. He knew what he was doing. Uh, pre-game chats. We're here. Episode 335. Can you, can you believe that? That's crazy. Um, Patreon. 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 We are back. Uh, Get your boys. Post, post live show, post meetup weekend. Um, I gotta I gotta pour for us for the pregame chats. Okay, that um, I it's it's a little special. It's a little something rock and roll. A it's a little. <laughs> 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 Can I see it, or are you trying to surprise me? I mean, it's in a, uh, it's in an unmarked sample bottle. Oh, okay, perfect. So, you ain't gonna know anyway. Rubber ducky, <laughs> the one that makes coming. No, wait, wait, no, okay, all right. So, <laughs> there was so much that happened behind the scenes at the meetup that okay well that sounded way worse than it should yeah, have dude. but I eric and i just kind of about that we just kind of lost our minds and we always do this where we just make up weird songs when we're hanging out yeah and the rubber ducky that was on the main episode <laughs> oh. last week uh got its own weird song <laughs> it's still here in my house now yeah Good. It it shouldn't have been. They probably charged us like $40 for it. <laughs> like, where's the duck? You know I, how I said that there was like a security deposit? Yeah. It finally came off of the charge. Yeah. But I never saw it come back to my card. <laughs> I don't know where that money went. Did it ever pinned on? Was it just pending the whole time on your card? And then it just went away? Didn't yeah. Didn't actually like take it out? Y yeah. So that's what it was. But. They didn't actually take it no, out. No, 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 no. It was account. on my debit card. So the money got subtracted from my account, right? Right. But that $200 that was the security deposit got subtracted from that deduction. Yeah. Like it, it wasn't there anymore. But I also never saw it. It's the duck. Apparently. The duck. Apparently. The duck cost $200. <laughs> Two hundred dollar duck. Two hundred dollar duck. <laughs> Two hundred dollar anyway. duck. Anyway, I'm very excited for us to try this on the podcast together. Well, it looks nice. I haven't smelled it or tasted it. Obviously, I just looked at it. Yeah. <clears throat> um, other thing I wanted to mention before we go too far. In 334 episodes of the podcast, we are making the first significant format change to the show ever. Yeah. I, I mean, it, it's, it's crazy. Um, during the uh, survey running... Oh, um, I I was trying to figure out ways that we could kind of liven things up with it, and I uh, I brought mine too. The rum finished. I didn't. Excuse me. Know if we wanted to do anything with them, but I also brought mine. Mm. Um. Rum, rum, rum. But anyway, um, I figured it was time to just kind of. Give it, give it a little refresh. Yep. It's so time. here we are, and uh, I, I, it's not changing like 
you know, the core content of... No more bourbon. <laughs> We're only reviewing mouthwash. <laughs> We're going to talk about bourbon, but never drink it. <laughs> mm. <laughs> We're buying a... a, a mm, I'm not going to say it. We're adopting a baby <laughs> for the show only. The podcast baby. Yeah. For the show only. <laughs> so what qualifies you two heterosexual men that are not married to adopt a baby? <laughs> we have a podcast. And Approved. We drink, and we drink whiskey. Okay. <laughs> Together good. once a week. So will you be co-parenting? Not exactly. We'll just stay in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 can we come see the basement that we'll be living in? No. No. Can we listen to the podcast? Sure. I'd rather you didn't. Oh. <laughs> they can listen. If you want to really listen, you got to pay. Patreon.com slash my podcast. <laughs> anyway. What the what? Hey, yo. Hold up. Also, it's summer break, Hold by up, the way, for, for Fayette County. So if you hear children in the background... That's r- not really adopted children that we bought for the that podcast. That would be the real ch- That's children's. That's actually kids upstairs. Yeah. Yo, 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 yo. It smells orangey. It smells? Dusty and orangey. Weedy. <laughs> like a weeder. If only I could show you the face that he just made. Um, it smells delicious. Uh, yeah, I could see a little orange. Um, wait a second. It's a rye. You said orange, and now I got Thomas Handy in my head. Um, but it also smells kind of strawberry too. So I'm oh, thinking weeder. It's, it's strawberry and cigars. Yeah, and uh, not, there is a lot of tobacco on there too. Um, I agree with you. Not cigarello, strawberry swisher sweet. <laughs> Like just straight up, like cigar, tobacco, tobacco, yeah. cigar, and then some strawberry. All right, man. All right. Oh, that's crazy because it it the mouthfeel is weirdly like calming. I wasn't expecting that at all. Finish is a little short, but it's all just like this big old bite right in the front of your mouth. Like, yeah. I still think it's like a citrus bomb, though. I would lean more, more strawberry. It is there is tropical. I can't. I don't get as much orange. I think it's very <clears throat> off profile for the the brand oh, yeah? that it is. Um, knowing personally knowing what what brand this is, um, I have no idea. Like this doesn't taste <laughs> like anything. That I know. I've, I know. I've that's one of that's the crazy part about this product. And it it feels like one of those things that's gonna just boggle me. It's gonna blow you away. Um, it's delicious. It it tastes kind of old. Maybe mid proof. I wouldn't say it's gonna like go full like hundred and thirty barrel proof, but maybe around a hundred proof, hundred and ten. Finish is only thing that and it's not bad. I don't get a big finish on it, but I get a just a big punch right in the front. Yeah. The front palette. Do you wanna close your eyes when I Google what it is and sure. then you look at it? I wanna get high for a second. Hold on. Let me push my eyeballs into my head. I stick my fingers on Oh my gosh. There's so many pop ups. <clears throat> Chicks with dicks dot com. That kind of pop up. Oh my god, that's insane. 
All right, you can look it up. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> you got me good. It was dick butt. <laughs> I showed him dick butt. You got me first. good. <laughs> Little dick butt. <laughs> you got me good. <laughs> Very good. No, it's not dick butt. <laughs> oh. It's wild turkey generations. <laughs> <clears throat> dick butt, wild turkey generations. <laughs> so this is that like $500 one. Yeah. Right? Nine, ten, uh, nine, 12, 14, and 15 year old bourbons. Bourbon. Who had this? Where did we get a sample from? Uh, I'll give you one guess. Does he wear a cowboy hat? Yeah, he does. I figure. 120.8 proof. 120? Does not taste like one twenty. No, I, I don't think it drinks like it at all. It doesn't. I would never have thought this was a turkey product. No, that's what I'm saying. It oh. is insanely off profile for being a wild turkey product, but I think it's really good. Yeah, I'm 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 a fan of it. I'm a fan. I like it, but I, it doesn't taste turkey. Five hundred dollars is a lot of money. It is. It is. But Whether you, you know what? That not, that's your choice. I don't know, man. I I am just kind of over complaining about price. No, that's all. Anymore, hey, we've done better. Like I, yeah. I am too. I'm accepting that. You know, that's just how things are. Yeah. Not that we didn't know that, but like, uh, I'm I'm almost to the point where I'm like, <laughs> even even going. Maybe I would pay it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not going to yell about price anymore. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. John Hughes even came into my chat last night because I was doing the Buffalo Trace tier list. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> Thomas H. Handed came up and he was like, so we're not going to complain about the six-year-old $100, $100 rye? And I was like, is it really going to do me any good? <laughs> yeah, to complain I mean, about it at this point. Something I've learned recently, and yeah. But on the other hand, I mean, there are tons of six-year, hundred-dollar rides that are delicious. So, mm -hmm. what's the point of complaining about it anymore? Exactly. So, what's done is done. <laughs> I I'll can... swallow my pride. <laughs> I wonder if it delivers it. to me. If I could type. Let me tell me your address. I would really prefer you didn't. Okay, sorry. That's not my address. Oh, you don't live in South Carolina. <laughs> or California. California love. Limit one. We are delivering to. That's crazy. And they still have some, too. They have one at Ernie's for a while. Oh, it's no longer available. Never mind. <clears throat> All I want is in there. Well. Well, thank you for sharing that with me. Yeah, of course. Oh, I good. mean, I uh, I wanted to blind you on it as soon as old old Jansen, old cowboy, old cowboy. himself, pulled it out. Because what, what had happened He's always was, whipping out his turkey. He had, uh, he had poured me... Some of his Russell's uh, Infinity mm -hmm. or Turkey Infinity bottle. Uh, Which one's that? Which release is that? <laughs> Which Master Steve is it? Infinity? <laughs> no, he literally like made a. What's an the color box of that one? <laughs> I'm trying to collect them all. <laughs> You're killing me. What? No, he made Which an one's infin Infinity. He made an Infinity bottle oh. with with uh, Turkey products. Oh. Anyway, I I had finished it apparently, and I didn't notice, but he poured me some of the generations. He tried to trick you and be like, mm. "Yeah," and I like there was something else that I wanted to try, and so I finished a pour of generations real quick. And he was like, "Did you know what was in your glass?" And I was like, "Yeah, it was the turkey you poured for me." He was like, "No, it was generations." I was like, "Crap, dude." <laughs> Five hundred dollar whiskey that I so just he's really good at stuck. sneaking stuff into people's glasses. D apparently, <laughs> cowboy, we gotta talk, bro. <laughs> brother. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing? Uh, you want to talk a little bit about the weekend and the the meetup and the live show and everything, real quick? Yeah, it's over. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. No, it was it was. 
Are we talking about it more on the main episode? We just. I think I think we've kind of we're just gonna say thank you on the main episode more than anything because like when the um. I, we we did the we did last week's episode, which was recorded from the suite, right? Yep. People are gonna hear the interviews from the live show, and we'll kind of you know recap the live show from it in in that episode. Yeah. For everybody, but um, this is kind of more like the behind the scenes recap. I guess, um, but you know, in the main episode, I think we'll just say thank you to everybody who was yes. there, because I imagine there are going to be some people who are uh, coming in for the first time, right? You know, or second time, I guess. There are probably some folks who are coming in again. <laughs> I don't know how this works. They're like, wait a second, when was this recorded? <laughs> I didn't hear them talk about this. I'm so confused. Penis picture on, in the main <laughs> show. Did you watch any of the video? A little bit. From it? <laughs> Did you see what I mean? That you waving in front of it didn't matter? Yeah. At all? <laughs> I get it now. Um, the The weekend was long and stressful, but well worth it. It it was, and it was like really not super stressful because of the the folks who were there for the meetup. No, it was oddly like enough trying to make sure things were running smoothly. Yeah, and the the live show was, I was the nervous m- as hell about the live show. That was the most stressful part. Until I was actually up on stage and I knew that the, everything was good, like I was nervous all day long. Yeah. There was a lot of moving parts going on. So I um <clears throat> I was anxious the entire day just not even about like it wasn't performance anxiety it wasn't like anxious about the fact that the show was happening or that people were going to be there you know i was worried about people like finding the right door oh you're you're really i was freaked out about that um but just just about everything on Saturday. Well, you always worry. We got these brands coming in. We're yeah. putting on this thing. Like these are like a big deal to get these brands there. And then you worry like, is everybody that got a ticket actually going to show up? Because yeah. you don't want to, you know, you don't want to go in and blow your load in like three seconds, and then like it's just done. Um. Oh, you got that guy. I got the stampede from Don. Too. Um. Don't tell him you stole it. He was looking for it. Just outed yourself. Sorry. I just started sweating so hard. <laughs> was he really? Yeah. He said he lost it. He's taking it back. He's going to wrap it up. Don! <laughs> That's what he told me. Anyway. Um, I'm just playing. Oh, my gosh. Uh, you jerk. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's just you got the brands. Okay, so now we know the brands are there. Okay, that's one side. Okay, I got to get the food and make sure. Who knows if the food's going to be good because, you know, we haven't ordered. I've had the food from that place a couple times, but I've never ordered a big thing from it. Okay, okay, finally got the food. You know, the venue. Is everything going to be okay with the venue? Okay, everything's fine with the venue. It was like until I legitimately set up on that couch and we started the music and, like, kind of introduced everything, I was. Yeah, twice. (laughs) <laughs> I was thinking something was wrong. Yeah. I thought something was going to go wrong. My shoulder still hurts, too. You know, and and then you just want, at that point, you want everybody to have a good time, and I think they do. Yeah. Um, it was the most work we had ever put into a live show. It's mm-hmm. actually the most work we had ever put into an actual VIP weekend, too. Yeah. And yeah, there wasn't like an extremely large amount of stuff going on, but the things we did were different than we normally did. Um, we did more, you know, we talked about it with the VIP group. They know that, you know, we were trying to do a little bit different things, make people happy, make people have fun. And there was a lot of stuff that, you know, who knows what would happen. We show up to RD1 and maybe they forgot or maybe we something got crisscross well, yeah or and and i mean i was <clears throat> i made sure to be in communication with barry 
throughout the, I mean, constantly over however long. Barry's the man. During the planning, too. Um, so he he was going to take care of us, and he absolutely did during the whole process as well, and was very, um, very hospitable. <coughs> Jeez, excuse me. To to the group uh, and to those who accepted his hospitality. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he As pretty well. much set us free in RD1, and we could, we could have just gone and thieved every barrel that was available there. He didn't care. Yeah, I mean, if you had a water bottle, he understood. He might he, not have known. He found all about. He found out all about the Nulu story, and he could not believe it. Yeah. Um. So. But yeah, that was fun. The tastings were great. I mean, I got a, I got a break kayfabe and. Shout out to Chad. He brought some amazing pours for everybody and the VIP tasting. And they yeah. got bottles themselves, which uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about those on the main episode. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I think... It's, I, f- it's, it's Sorry, it's funny how we have done a complete 180 with Rare Character since. <laughs> and you know, that is... Everything started. And looking back, I know that... The whole Proud of Anderson County thing was crazy. Like we and, went off. It's fine, and it was but, it was very self inflicted too. I never too. meant. I honestly looked at that as its own thing. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm sure people are like, "Whatever you came off." I know what was said, but I know I never was like rare character. This rare character that I know the people behind it were are people from rare character and all that, but. It was never a knock on rare character or Chad or anybody like that. No, it was but simply it, it's. Uh, I I was trying to make it seem like it, it was, was very charged though. It was charged, but it was never it was very like, charged. I'm going after rare character. No, but I but I can understand why they would have taken it that way. And, oh, yeah. and to be fair too, I, yeah, I and and you know we had an episode um, about a year ago. Two that was called uh, the this is my concern with rare character right and we were talking about Fortuna um, not even barrel proof at that point just the you know standard offering um, I think it was before Chad ever even jumped on board yeah he was with a them it. so it, it you know it it it, it is understandable if they had issues with us leading up to this weekend, and <clears throat> but Chad, Chad was uh, an ambassador for us with them as well, and I, I, I you know, there, there has been so much growth for us over the past year that it, it is. I'll I'll speak not just to you know the work that we have had to put in for the weekend um, over the past year. We have also had to put in a lot of work to convince people to con- to to keep listening to the podcast. <laughs> this is a very this is a very vulnerable thing that I'm I'm about to say. Um, as, as much as there has been a, a dip in listenership with Tim Bip, you know, specifically, there has also been a dip in listenership for podcasts in general. Um, now <clears throat> some of the listenership dip with Tim Bip has in fact been self-inflicted. Uh, and that has been because of the way that we have been, um, woe is me. It has been because of the way that we talked about Pride of Anderson County. It has been because of the way that we have been very, um, uh, I don't know the best way to put this, but self, self-important. In some ways, too, and it, it it is only with self reflection and other people calling you on your BS 
that you understand that uh, there is growth to be had. And I take full responsibility for it. And so we are in a, a growth period right now. And we are doing what is essentially the hardest thing that you can possibly do with a podcast or any form of content. And that is trying to bring people back to uh, the thing that either they loved once before or they have fallen out of love with at some point or they've just never experienced at any point. And so whether it's diversification of the content that we make or reinvigorating the thing that we used to make and trying to, um, you know, re trying to find that that magic again or, or whatever it is, um, it, we're 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 more focused than ever on the brand. And this this is like there's there is a reason why we go into the main feed, the main podcast with changes to the format or the logo has changed or I'm treating <laughs> I'm treating Eric now not just as the co-host um, but as the host of the show, right? It's a lot of responsibility. But you have had that responsibility since you came onto the show. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that that's that's not anything that I, you you have had just as much responsibility with this my bourbon podcast as I have had just in different formats. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so there's no reason for me to ignore that and to for it and and I should stop saying <coughs> excuse me at the top of the episodes I am your host and this is my co-host and we jump into the episodes and we say I'm Perry I'm Eric and we jump off from there because that's where we are right now yeah that to me is where we are and that to me is where we should go from here on out let's go and so for better or worse, we're finding our footing. We're finding what what is the the magic now. I'm I'm sorry to keep speaking in weird isms, but there there Terrence is Howard now. huh? You Terrence Howard now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't want to talk about Terrence Howard on on Rogan. <laughs> That was the worst interview I have ever it's seen. Just the weirdest stuff. Ever. Oh. Anyway, um, it 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 is it is a a a rebuilding period, and I I have never felt more energized than I did <clears throat> than I have coming off of Ten Bip Weekend Twenty Four. This is my bourbon podcast live with Kenny Coleman, like. That's that's where I am, Kenneth, right Coleman. now. You know, and it you you, I'm speaking to you, are are just as vital to this show as I am, and I mean I mean that wholeheartedly. Well, I appreciate that, and I I hope that you you understand that. I do. I mean, uh... and I hope that I have never made you feel like you are not, and I'm sorry if I have. No, just that one time. <laughs> I'm gonna cut my own dick off. <laughs> <laughs> that would not make me feel better. I'm just playing. You never made me feel like that. Um, no, I just like I'm. I don't know. Like I and I and part of me still feels like it's just me and my best friend sitting here sharing pores and yeah. talking about poop and stuff. Um. So, you know, yeah, and, it's, I, and it's hard and for I get me that. to like, I get that. It's hard for me. I understand everything you're saying and I appreciate everything. It's hard for me to convey that just because of my personality. Like, you know me. I, like, I know. I'm not gonna I know. Be, 
So yes, I appreciate. Well, that. if one I'm of like, us is going to say it, it's going to be me. Yeah, exactly. And so that I'm part's going never to. Gonna and change. so I'm going to say it. It's always going to be you <laughs> doing that stuff and me being. But I get exactly what you're saying. This stampede is weird as hell. But I like it though. I think it's. I think it's weird. It's the most left of center wild turkey. It's crazy, and I I really enjoy it. Sorry, Don, that I stole your. He was that was he was late for his flight looking for that. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Just send me the bill. <laughs> What if he does? <laughs> but anyway, it, it it just everything about what we did with this past weekend made me realize that we are not we're not dead yet. <laughs> ain't dead, baby. And I, if if you were there and you listen to what Kenny said about Timbip too. It made me feel validated in a lot of ways as you were laying sweetly on his lap. Oh my gosh. Um, which he just accepted. So Kenny, Kenny accepted so everything quickly on that stage. Like and he was to, to hear him say cream pie. Yes. But to hear him say over and over and over again, I have never done this before, was so cool. I don't know a better way to say it other than that was awesome. Yeah. Somebody who's done everything on. And or, and longer than we have, too. To never. Yeah. All the firsts. Like, I've never done this. I've never done this. All the first pour of. I mean, like, first time doing a live podcast. I mean, it's just crazy. And, and, and I, I could have sworn that he had done a live podcast before. But he just straight up was like, yep, never done this before. That blew my mind. He was like, yeah, he just threw me into it. <laughs> Great, man. And good. I, it How was, else are you gonna do it if you don't do it? Was it was awesome seeing him like ha- just having fun. I know he's like a fun guy and everything, but in person, like seeing him have fun and like yeah. at something that we put together was just awesome. And like it did feel like he was like just enjoying himself. And maybe he, you know, he didn't have to be leading the way on Bourbon Pursuit or you know doing something for Pursuit United. He got to like go up there and right. be goofy and have fun and just relax. It and again, like, that's why I wanted him to be like the third co-host for the night because I wanted to see what he would do in that setting, in that format. I just hope he goes back and he tells Fred Minnick that my name is Eric. <laughs> 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 Only one way to find out, Ooh. I guess. Um, but you know, we we do want to refocus and recenter, but also still maintain the the spirit of this is my bourbon podcast, which has always been. You know, the the family is not limited to just only going to distilleries and only going to people who have bourbon media right. or whatever you know it, it it's i i i want to maintain that <clears throat> to a degree because i know that that is still a core part of who we are but i want to do more than that and as kenny said there are so many stories to be told we haven't told half of them <laughs> exactly so, um, that's that's my debrief portion of it. Um, I don't know what more to say <laughs> right now. No, I don't think there's anything else to say. Yeah, and I, I know that Eric and I still have like our own private debrief that we're gonna wind up doing. Yeah. at some point. But um, I more than anything, thank you all for being a part of it that's and, the main and thing. showing us thank that. Thank you. Um, this is this is not a um, this is not a uh, ending. There's still life, but a beginning. Yeah, there is still life to be had with this. So there's still holes to fill. Mm, big ones, small ones, little ones, uh, medium ones, in between. And there's still the room in Tim Bip for you. Forever and always, all 
Men. Men. All men. All women. And male. Females. Everyone. Everything. You are Timbit. And we love you. We love you. Thank you. And goodbye.